Grizzlies fans, welcome into another Grizz game day update. It is a beautiful, sunny day in Memphis, but it is cold in OKC, and the Grizzlies are taking on the Thunder this evening at 6 p.m. Joining me to break this one down is Brandon Rabar, our good friend. Welcome back. You ready to talk some ball? I am ready to talk some ball. Thanks for having me back, KJ. Of course. Okay, first off, I'm going to do injury reports. I know that's not the most exciting, glamorous way to start, but it is important. For OKC, it looks like everyone is healthy. Yeah. All good. Clean injury report. Yeah. Which is, which is good. 19 games away from the playoffs. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Trending upwards for the Grizzlies. Of course, Bain, Clark, Josh, Scotty, Derek, Marcus, Yuda, and Zaire are all out. I had to look, I can't even memorize that. I had to read it. Um, questionable today is Vince, Gigi, and Luke all questionable and then doubtful John Conchar and Jordan Goodwin. So I get that out of the way. All to say that although we will mention the last time these two teams played on December 18th, where OKC won 116 to 97, it does look a lot different for the Grizzlies. For OKC, they have just been rolling this season. Um, and so that's where we'll start. Last time these two teams played, OKC had 34 points in the first quarter and the second quarter. Um, and their points in the paint destroyed the Grizzlies 58 to 22. What is it about OKC offensively right now? I know they're third highest scoring team in the league. Offensively, what is working so well for this team? Uh, Shea Gilders Alexander is a top two or three, depending on who you ask, MVP candidate. He's scoring 31 points a night. It's almost become a meme with Thunder fans because like 31 is almost just guaranteed with <laughs> Shea. And he's driving, he's kicking. He's got, he's got J-Dub now as a number two scoring option both of these guys are just hyper efficient uh from all three levels and they can score at the rim they score mid-range they score from three-point range uh then you got chet holmgren as a lob threat as a three-point threat uh the offense is just clicking they do a lot of drive and kick and they always hunt the best possible shot I mean, that seems easy, right? Like, it seems like what you want to have. Uh, like you said, Shea, 31 points per game. Jalen, who you mentioned, 19 points a game. Chet, 17 points a game. I had mentioned that this team averages about 120 points per game. The Grizzlies actually just played the Atlanta Hawks, who also average about 120 points per game. They're top five in the league in scoring. And they were able to keep them under 100 points. Now, I did some boop, 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 Googling, Brandon. And OKC hasn't scored less than 100 since October 29th against Denver. What can the Grizzlies do defensively? Is there a weakness in this offense that they can try and take advantage of? Um, They could clone Jaron Jackson Jr., have a couple of them out that there. That would be running. nice. I think everyone <laughs> would be okay with that. <laughs> yeah, this Thunder offense has been really, really hard to stop. <laughs> because not only the big three that I mentioned with Shea, J-Dub, and Chet, but guys like Isaiah Joe coming off the bench as a three-point sniper. Uh, Lou Dort has been shooting really well from three this season. You know, he's he's up and down, but he's been more consistent than ever this season scoring and more efficient. Aaron Wiggins, Kaysen Wallace, the rookie, uh, who we talked about on, on this show before. The Thunder just have a lot of options. They have the top-end talent now, and they have a lot of depth. And it's just rare that – when you have that many guys that can score that they're all going to have an off night. I mean, they, they just find ways to make it happen. And like I said, they just, they pass the ball until they find a good shot. So they're taking good shots and they're good shooters. So that's why I think we've seen the consistency from the thunder as far as scoring. Yeah, I know why you're saying consistency too. Shay's last uh, post game interview went absolutely banana viral. The, Sideline reporter, I'm sorry that I don't know his name. He said something. Big like, Gallo. Okay, yeah. yeah. He's like, how have you been able to find consistency today or in the last couple of games? And Shay goes, my whole life is consistent. And everyone <laughs> goes bananas. Okay, Shay. We get it. <laughs> get it. Um, Shay, what do you think the matchup looks like today? I would assume that he's going up against Vince Williams Jr. If Vince plays today, again, he is questionable. Vince will guard you. 94 feet from the basket and he is not afraid to be chippy to get in your face uh in terms of defenses that Shea has seen 
how does he fare against like these dog kind of defenders? That's the thing. It's, you know, Shea, especially if you, if you try to guard him one-on-one, -on -one, he just finds a way because he's got a really deep bag. Like he wants to score at the rim, but if you're going to wall off the rim, he'll score from mid range. Uh, he's got a step back three. Uh, Vince Williams Jr., by the way, though, uh, I think he's really special. Uh, actually, my like pickup of the year in fantasy basketball was Vince Williams Jr. He's killing it for me. Uh, <laughs> so I'm really, really impressed with this game, both offensively and defensively. So I think the Grizzlies have a gem there. That said, I haven't seen anybody stop Shea this year. So I, I don't I don't know if Vince will be able to stop him. Um, although I know that he is gonna gonna play him hard. Okay, we talk a lot about this team's offense defensively as well. I mean, they're the fifth defensive rated team in the league as well. So offense is clicking, defense is clicking as well. Last time they played, they held the Grizzlies to thirty five percent from the field. Who do we have to look out for on the defensive end? Who do we want to attack? Uh, I don't know if you want to attack him, but you need to look out for Chet Holmgren. Um. I mean, he's he's blocking shots at a at a crazy clip, and he deters uh, scores that want to score at the rim. Even if he may not get you know five blocks in a game, he's going to deter a bunch of block a bunch of shots. Uh, but Lou Dort, of course, dog defender. Um, he's going to take the best assignment every night. J Dub is a really good defender. Shea leads the league in steals. So everybody's bought in defensively for this Thunder team. That's another reason why I think they've been so successful. They're top five in offense, but also top five in defense. They're doing it on both sides of the court. Uh, and just the energy, the hustle, the effort, they pretty much go full 48, this Thunder team does. All right, let's end this, Brandon, with giving Grizzlies fans some hope because we have hyped up the OKC Thunder so much this one video, which well-deserved. They're very good right now. Uh one stat, like in terms of categories, that you think the Grizzlies could win tonight to help put them in a, a place to succeed, whether that be, you know, out-rebound this team. They're probably – out-assisting this kind of team is so hard because they do pass the ball so well, but you get the question. Something that they could win to help them put them in a better position. Yeah, you nailed it. It's rebounding. If oh. there's one weakness on this Thunder team, it's rebounding. Uh, Chet is really their only big – uh, mm -hmm. They picked up Bismont Biombo, but he's getting, you know. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah, appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> Biz is playing kind of spare minutes right now. They call him a situational big. They'll use him for certain matchups. They picked up Mike Muscala. Uh, so they have a couple other bigs. The other Jalen Williams, Jay Will. Uh, but Chet is the one true five. And, uh, you know, he'll get a lot of rebounds. But this team, if you could point to one weakness – they're usually out rebounded and it's, it's purposeful. Like they're kind of giving up rebounds for strengths in other areas, but sometimes size can, can affect this Thunder team. All right. All right. Like I said, this one tips off at 6 PM tonight. So a little bit earlier than normal. Brennan, thank you so very much. I hope you have a good Sunday. I hope you enjoy the game and I hope it's a good one. I love watching OKC because I have so many Canadians, so I'm just excited. <laughs> And we get to see yeah. OKC twice in like a week or two weeks, right? We see them again next weekend. Yeah, uh, in Memphis next weekend. So a nice oh, little, uh, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> the Grizz are going to be back, by the way. Like, that's the one thing I'd say. I've I've followed the Grizzlies closely. Uh, I think most Thunder fans the last few years have because of Stephen Adams. Um, but even now, uh, I still think, you know, the Grizzlies were the young upcoming team. I think the, the Thunder are right now. Uh, but the Grizz will be back. Fair right, enough. We'll battle it out next season. Yeah. Thank you, Brandon. Thanks, AJ.